Delighted to be joined by the former soldier and still serving Tory MP. You know, some would say I've gone from one shit show to another, Robert. But, Stop uh, it! No, uh, did say during this dissent that was going on between the right and left at the moment that people like me were always going to fight as hard for the centre ground as anybody else, I'm afraid. Look, if you go out and you speak in the streets to uh, normal people who go about their job every day and you talk to them about government, they're going to talk about the NHS, they're going to talk about train lines, they're going to talk about housing and employment opportunities. And but things like, that's things like life chances, right? Why I joined yeah. the Conservative Party, so no matter where you're born in this country, your life chances are equal across the country. Has it been an easy few days? Look, uh, every day is a day at school for me in politics. Uh, <laughs> I would say... I'd say the right people were pretty angry. The vast majority of my colleagues go to Parliament for the same things that I go there for. Mm. They go out, and the thing that makes them go out and advocate for them as a Conservative on the doorsteps are the things that I change. That is 80% of my colleagues in Parliament who actually have been amazing to me this week and talked about how actually they joined Parliament and the Conservatives for hope and change and all those things that I'm talking about. But people like me think universal credit should be one of the defining policies of a modern Conservative party. Although Why? it's failing. It's no, failing. No, no, it's, it's making people failing. poorer. It's not failing, Robert. There are some horrendous stories, and I don't, I don't denigrate them in any way whatsoever, but to say universal credit as a policy is failing, I'm afraid it is simply not borne out by the statistics. And you go and look at job centres up and down this country, that's great. The great British public, it's an unpopular argument, the great British public want welfare brought to within uh, a means that looks after those who are most vulnerable, but encourages those who can go out to work because it's the same single biggest factor that improves their life chances. Now, we have a duty to deliver but that. Am I going to say to my government, when they try and take the money out of it, that means actually there's too many of these horrific stories and I don't denigrate them so at all. So, just to be clear, you agree that them. there are quite a lot of people being made poorer There are too the many. There are too many stories that we've heard uh, of people who uh, wear university So, you want more money going in? Absolutely you want the Chancellor right. absolutely next right. week to announce more money to go I in. absolutely do. And where do we get that from? We need to look at other things that we, we're doing, you know, things like raising income tax threshold, that's wonderful. But actually, three-quarters of the people who benefit from that are in the top half uh, of income tax earners. If you're genuinely committed to the bottom 20%, you will say, OK, that was a great idea. However, we need we to reinvest in universal credit. So you're saying